Okay, I dug out my grips and we're gonna put them on. I've got two different sets. So I'll take this set. These are older grips. I have a new set, but I'm not gonna put them on this to start out with because of how I'm doing the the gun. I might be changing up a little bit on. Uh, what I'm doing. I kind of like the old grips. They're not as fancy as the new ones, but they work. And I got a bunch of them. I'm thinking about buying some parts and building guns because I've got a ton of parts. All I need is a few parts to build the guns. Actually, from modifying a couple of these, I have um, <clears throat> a pump. Everything, I just need the tube, the breech. I even have a barrel. This is part of what I'm saying with cleaning the gun. <clears throat> Look at how dirty that is. And even down to the end here, it's not perfect. But I ran a couple more through it. It didn't really show much. But that's why you always want to clean your gun when you first get it. Because these do get sent overseas too. And uh, to do that, they want to make sure the barrels don't get rusty inside from the salt water and stuff. And I'm sure there's other reasons. But anyway, so I do that. Now, <clears throat> I also found the other grips. These are... Thinner grips, these are thicker. This is nice because for the adult, it makes fits my hand a little better. And I'm going to show you another thing right here too. This is what I was talking about with drilling out the bottom and tapping up through with a, a um, rail. Then you can make yourself your own stock to go to your shoulder out of a uh, whatever you want just bring it out and come up or you can bring it out go and come up however you want to do it and it's real simple all you got to do is if you go down and buy a lot of times you can buy a kit it's called it's got a drill bit and a tap and at like 8 by 32 10 by 32 and you can buy them as a set and then you have the drill to drill through drill bit and you also have the tap the only thing is you'd want a bigger drill bit to drill through plastic or this but these already have the size so I just used that tapped them out to that and was good to go and then now with this one I'm gonna put this back on and yes I have a bunch of these I probably have two more or at least one more so I'm gonna put that screw back in here now the big thing is what do I want to go for an end on it? I really don't want to use the stock because this is one that I'm going to probably take out and use. Oh, also with my fish stringer, I can take the metal end. And of course, I need to glue that or burn this end so it don't keep unraveling. But uh, anyway... So yeah, I can put that together like that. I can keep that in a kit. I can take it anywhere I want to go. Now, here's the thing. Do I want it to look... Let's put these up here for now. Get them out of the way. You can see that. Yes, I have a full. Okay, so I can do one of two things. I can go with something like this. Let's bring that in. that has an adjustable cheek piece nah this is the one I want because I do do shooting with young people and that actually gives it a lot shorter when you start figuring what the standard one is it gives that about two inches shorter well not quite two inches it will be more because that goes into there so when you put this on here, you can see that it's definitely, 
here's the end of it so it's about an inch inch and a half shorter and then for adults shooting it and stuff it actually isn't too bad because then they can actually get it for a bigger guy can shoot it too but I'm gonna put that in there this I had made and uh, all I have to do is take these out and I might have to sand that or file that down we're not gonna worry about that at the moment either because I'm gonna be doing something with this one feels really good on that trigger now but what I'm gonna do is Hill Products they do a lot of stuff for the Marauders they do a lot of stuff for uh, the different um, companies uh, or I shouldn't say companies the different uh, manufacturers they make stuff for a lot of the Marauder and that those places where did I put that up here for the companies which is still the Crossman but they make the Depingers. I have one in my um, I actually have one in my um, come on <sighs> Marauder pistol alright but what I want to show now is something new that they came out with and I'm really excited about I actually had it on a gun but it comes with full instructions Okay, and it really is self-explanatory and very nice. Plus, if you have any questions, you can contact him at uh, timhill at gmail.com. Really super. And what it is, it is a new style of silencer, and I like it. I like a silencer that you can take apart and clean. I like a silencer that isn't all plastic. And yes, there is one piece of plastic in here, but what you've got I've got to find the right wait a minute, I've got that here for that. Here it is. The right Allen wrench. It comes with an Allen wrench. Back them out a little bit. Because this piece is going to go on the barrel first. What I like about this the most and there is three set screws on here. The thing I like about it the most is that it goes on and you don't see any of the set screws. So I take this on as far as I need it to go, but I'm, I'm not tightening anything because I have a, it actually helps with the silencing and it's got an O-ring to help seal. So what I'm gonna do is it goes on the end of the barrel and you push it on until it stops so what I'm going to do is actually tap it on, but I want something. I'm going to take a let's test out my silencer. And I had it on there. It was on there good enough. Yep. Okay, now I'm going to put a little lube on the ring but here's the part that's really kind of nice now basically you've got it on there all the way you bring this back up and I am going to tighten the top one just snug it just slightly just snug them all slightly and the thing is before you get carried away with tightening them I would go back and tighten the top one that way it pulls it straight up. I would keep it straight. Try to keep it straight up on top. Snug. 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 And then I'm going to go back and tighten. Go back over here. Tighten. And back over here. Tighten. Check the two sides. There you go. Now, okay, this is the other end. Now, I can slide this piece on, which it really looks like it's ambidextrous. It can go on either way. So I'm going to slowly get that O-ring past the, 
because that does let the back part here is actually part of the silencer also okay so I'm gonna thread that on there and now you have your parts and he gives you extra it's really kind of nice and there is a spring you take the spring you put the spring in first then I'm gonna slide in one of the silencing cups two of the silencing cups three of the silencing cups four of the silencing cups and now I'm right flush with the end and I can feel the spring pushing so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push that spring in a little bit that holds everything into place and tighten it down and that's basically it now I really like the way that looks nice and clean sweet now I didn't try it without it but it's pretty simple to do all you have to do if you want to try this without the silencer you just screw it off from the gun now it's gonna spring a little not much actually that one's threaded on far enough I don't think it really will pull that off now I can pump the gun up ten cock it and we're gonna fire it I'm gonna keep it up close so you guys can hear Gonna keep it up close so you guys can hear. Okay, it's pretty loud. Now, what I'm gonna do is take this back on. Which like I said, it's really nice. I can thread that right back down on. Now the big thing with silencers or moderators is that you want two, three, four, five. You want the gun to be quiet, but you don't want it to affect your accuracy. So we'll go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, it, it, it's a little bit louder than some of mine. But there's a difference. 